A thyrotron is a type of gas fill tube used as a high power electrical switch and controlled rectifier. Because of the gas fill, thyrotrons can handle much greater currents than similar hard vacuum tubes, since electron multiplication occurs in the ionized gas, the phenomenon called Townsend discharge. Gases used include mercury vapor, xenon, neon, and hydrogen. Unlike a vacuum tube, a thyrotron cannot be used to amplify signals linearly. In the 1920s, thyrotrons were derived from early vacuum tubes such as the UV-200, which contained a small amount of argon gas to increase its sensitivity as a radio signal detector, and the German LRS relay tube, which also contained argon gas. Gas rectifiers, which predated vacuum tubes, such as the argon-filled General Electric Tungar bulb, and the Cooper Hewitt Mercury Pool Rectifier, also provided an influence. Irving Langmuir and G. S. Meikle of GE are usually cited as the first investigators to study controlled rectification in gas tubes, about 1914. The first commercial thyrotrons didn't appear until around 1928. A solid state device with similar operating characteristics is the thyristor, sometimes also known as the silicon controlled rectifier. The term thyristor was derived from a combination of thyrotron and transistor. Since the 1960s thyristors have replaced thyrotrons in most low and medium power applications. Construction and operation A typical hot cathode thyrotron uses a heated filament cathode, completely contained within a shield assembly with a control grid on one open side, which faces the plate-shaped anode. In the off situation the voltage on the control grid is negative with respect to the cathode. When positive voltage is applied to the anode, no current flows. When the control electrode is made less negative, electrons from the cathode can travel to the anode because the positive attraction from the anode prevails over the negative repulsion caused by the slightly negative voltage on the control grid. The electrons will ionize the gas by collisions with the gas in the tube, and an avalanche effect results, causing an arc discharge between cathode and anode. The shield prevents ionized current paths that might form within other parts of the tube. The gas in a thyrotron is typically at a fraction of the pressure of air at sea level. 15 to 30 millibars is typical. For a cold cathode thyrotron the trigger voltage on the control grid will typically be positive, and a flashover from control grid to cathode will initiate the arc discharge in the tube. Both hot and cold cathode versions are encountered. A hot cathode is at an advantage, as ionization of the gas is made easier. Thus, the tube's control electrode is more sensitive. Once turned on, the thyrotron will remain on as long as there is a significant current flowing through it. When the anode voltage or current falls to zero, the device switches off. Applications Low-power thyrotrons were manufactured for controlling incandescent lamps, electromechanical relays or solenoids, for bidirectional counters, to perform various functions in decatron calculators, for voltage threshold detectors in RC timers, etc. Glow thyrotrons were optimized for high gas discharge light output or even phosphorized and used as self-displaying shift registers in large format, crawling text dot matrix displays. Another use of the thyrotron was in relaxation oscillators. Since the plate turn-on voltage is much higher than the turn-off voltage the tube has hysteresis and with a capacitor across it could function as a sawtooth oscillator. The voltage on the grid controlled the breakdown voltage and thus the period of oscillation. Thyrotron relaxation oscillators were used in power inverters and oscilloscope sweep circuits. One miniature thyrotron, the triode 6D4, found an additional use as a potent noise source, when operated as a diode in a transverse magnetic field. Sufficiently filtered for flatness in a band of interest, such noise was used for testing radio receivers, servo systems and occasionally in analog computing as a random value source. The miniature AK61-2 thyratin valves marketed in 1938 were designed specifically for radio control circuits, and were the major technical development which led to the wartime development of radio-controlled weapons and the parallel development of radio-controlled modeling as a hobby. Medium-power thyrotrons found applications in machine tool motor controllers, where thyrotrons, operating as phase-controlled rectifiers, 
are utilized in the tool's armature regulator and in the tool's field regulator. Examples include Monarch Machine Tool 10E lathe, which used thyrotrons from 1949 until solid-state devices replaced them in 1984. High-power thyrotrons are still manufactured, and are capable of operation up to tens of kiloamperes and tens of kilovolts. Modern applications include pulse drivers for pulsed radar equipment, high-energy gas lasers, radiotherapy devices, particle accelerators and in Tesla coils and similar devices. Thyrotrons are also used in high-power UHF television transmitters, to protect inductive output tubes from internal shorts, by grounding the incoming high-voltage supply during the time it takes for a circuit breaker to open and reactive components to drain their stored charges. This is commonly called a crowbar circuit. Thyrotrons have been replaced in most low and medium power applications by corresponding semiconductor devices known as thyristors and triacs. However, switching service requiring voltages above 20 kV and involving very short rise times remains within the domain of the thyrotron. Variations of the thyrotron idea are the critron, the spritron, the ignitron, and the triggered spark gap, all still used today in special applications such as nuclear weapons and ACDCAC power transmission. Example of a small thyrotron. The 885 is a small thyrotron tube, using xenon gas. This device was used extensively in the timebus circuits of early oscilloscopes in the 1930s. It was employed in a circuit called a relaxation oscillator. During World War II small thyrotrons, Similar to the 885 were utilized in pairs to construct by staples, the memory cells used by early computers and code-breaking machines. Thyrotrons were also used for phase angle control of alternating current power sources in battery chargers and light dimmers, but these were usually of a larger current handling capacity than the 885. The 885 is a 2.5 volt. 5-pin based variant of the 884-6Q5. Notes. References. Stokes, John, 70 Years of Radio Tubes and Valves, Vestal Press, New York, 1982, pages 111 a Euro 115. Thrower, Keith, History of the British Radio Valve to 1940, MMA International, 1982, pages 30, 31, 81. Hull, A. W., Gas-Filled Thermionic Valves, Trans. AIEE, 47, 1928, pages 753 Euro 763. Data for 6D4 Type, Sylvania Engineering Data Service, 1957, J. D. Cabine, J. R. Curry, Electrical Noise Generators, Proceedings of the IRE, 1947, pages 875. Radio and Electronic Laboratory Handbook, M. G. Scroggy 1971, ISBN 0-592-05950-2. External links, tpub.com, GLVAC Hydrogen Thyrotron, article about switch tubes by John Parsley, Thyrotron Collection at the Virtual Valve Museum, article on gas-filled thyrotrons.